In the previous video, we saw how we can take our asset and by putting it through an autorig component and by saying that the component we want to use is the second input and then using an edit graph into that second input, we could define some custom rig logic and that this edit graph would uh, allow us to find the character and its graph, find a node within that graph, find a port on that node, promote that port uh, with its special name, and then update the graph and send our character out. And the result of that would be that our character has this new functionality. In this case, uh, the simple scaling. So that's great. Um, and as I've said earlier, if working with a graph uh, is uh, simpler or faster, or it's uh, more in keeping with what you're comfortable with, then using a graph is great. But in this video, we're going to have a look at scripting, um, not using the graph directly like this, but rather uh, using a script and interacting with our asset in very much the same way. Uh, we're going to use the autorig component uh, and we're going to use the second input, but the input that we're going to use is not uh, an edit graph, but rather an edit script. So there are two ways um, of using edit script. And if we put down an autorig component, let's first just duplicate this fellow over here. So we're sending our uh, character into an autorig component. And by default, you'll see that the component that we're using is the snippet. And the snippet is down here. Let's just move that up. So we're using a snippet. We have still our base rig. And then in here, we can type some stuff. Apex script. Uh, but there's also some uh, additional little things that we should look at um, on the autorig component, specifically this decompile uh, submenu. And this one has a little button called convert to snippet. And then it has a drop down listing all of the currently uh, by default included components. So blend shape, bone deform, the FK transform that we saw in an earlier video, uh, etc. But it also has second input. So what this is going to do is it's going to take whatever is coming in on this second input and it's going to convert it to a snippet, meaning it's going to fill this area here with the Apex script code necessary uh, to do whatever is coming in on the second input. So we're going to use that uh, as a way of helping us along uh, in our scripting. But we could also take this edit graph that we made in the previous video, feed that into the component, uh, the autorig component's second input. Then if we have under de decompile, convert to snippet second input, and we just hit the button, we can see that we get all this code. So this then is Apex script. And if you're new to this, of course, this is going to be crazy and overwhelming and you won't really understand what's going on. But if you look through it, you'll find some things that you might recognize. Um, ext uh, extract character graph, string format, graph find node, find port, promote input. Well, these are the nodes that we had here in our custom rig logic. So by converting it into a script, we can see a direct relationship between this chunk of code and these nodes. And that's a, an important thing to understand is that the Apex script and the Apex graph 
are going to be describing exactly the same thing. So either way, uh, you're doing the same work. Um, one is in script form and the other is in a node form. But this is a really handy way of uh, helping to learn Apex script because when we look at our graph, when we look at the tab menu, we have all of these nodes. And it may seem obvious that uh, graph find node, well, there's probably a script, uh, a function that says find node. But what does that actually look like? What, what is the syntax of that? What kind of inputs does it require? Well, we can help ourselves if I cut that. And I'm just going to go down here and sort of convert to snippet. And there's nothing in the second input, so it's going to clear that out. And actually, I'm going to do this off to the side. Edit graph. And in this script, I can use the tab find, what did we have? Find node. So here we have this node and we want to know what the scripting version of this is. Well, on the auto rig component, if we go down to decompile, convert to snippet, second input, now this is going to error because you know we don't really have anything connected here, but it's going to show us the script uh, for that find node. So within the Apex API, we're working on the graph and the function is find node. So this is really handy when uh, maybe we know the node we want, or maybe we know the function we want, but we don't quite know what the right syntax is. Um, by using the edit graph as a kind of helper, we can get that information. Uh, and of course, all of this is in the documentation. Uh, and especially for um, Apex scripting, I would really highly recommend uh, reading through the documentation, even though at this moment, uh, Apex, uh, both the graph and, and script is in beta. Uh, that documentation is um, being worked on constantly. So it's always being updated and improved. And there's a lot of really good information there um, that if you're serious about Apex script or indeed Apex graph, uh, looking through that documentation is, is essential at this point. So uh, we've seen how we can um, use the autorig component to use the snippet uh, to add nodes or to add rig functionality. Uh, but the other way to do it is to use the Apex script node. And this one, let me just rearrange some of this. Uh, it has um, a snippet itself. And it also has um, uh, a number of other parameters, including that decompile so we could you know take some graph and feed that into the second input and then down here on convert to snippet we could select second input convert to snippet and we would get uh, the same code up here in the snippet uh, but we're not going to do that with this guy we're going to look at this one called header um, and if you want to know more about um, some of these other uh, debugging parameters, uh, invocation, and the visualizer, um, you can find all of that in the documentation. But for now, um, we really want to just get going and, and see what scripting is like uh, within Apex. And so on this Apex script, we're going to turn on this header parameter. And we have underneath it, we have a template with, which has some options. Um, we have a little button that says add version, show and edit. And right now the header that is there is from the basic template. Um, it's adding a version, it's the Houdini version. And right now we're not able to edit it. So I can click in here and nothing happens. But if I turn on edit, now I can uh, edit this header 
And there's also this footer down here. So what are these things? This code, whatever is in this header, will be placed at the top of your script. And whatever's in the footer will be placed at the bottom of your script. No matter what you've put here. So you can think of the result of this script as being first the header, then the snippet, and then the footer. And all of that is then compiled uh, and executed. So we have this basic template, which is just giving us this version, but what else do we have? Uh, we have a graph template, and it asks if we want to replace the current header. Yes, we do. So this, if I edit it, you can see it a little cl more clearly, um, is giving us some sort of boilerplate um, creation of, of a variable, in this case, graph. So it's geo load from geo. And then the footer, so this begins our script and this ends our script. So geo graph write to geo. So we're loading the graph and then we're writing the graph back out uh, to the output. So that's the graph template. But what we want to do is make a component and there is a convenient component template. So if I select that, I'll be asked if I want to update again. Yes. Edit that again. So let me just take out, we don't really need the version in there. I'm going to go back to basic, turn off add version, then back to component. Edit. So the component uh, template is giving us uh, the basic information that we need to start editing our graph. Um, and you'll recognize some of this uh, in a second when we go back to the edit graph. We have a rig name, so that's a string, and that's being uh, taken from the input. We have a character, that's geometry from the input. Then we have rig name and graph. And look here, extract character graph. So that was a node that we had when we did our edit graph here. So that is this guy right here. So that was that essential node to, to take our character and get the rig name out of it. And that gave us our graph, which was what we then worked on and then updated. So that's really quite convenient. If we go back to this script. So now we have this graph uh, as a variable that we can then use and work on, and it's been extracted from our character. And then at the end of our script, we are updating the character graph, just as we did here. So you can see this one-to-one -one relationship between what's going on in the graph and what's going on in the script. And then that's sent out, whoops, sent out to the character, just as we had in the uh, graph example. So those are two ways, one being uh, the autorig component itself and use snippet. We can type code in here. So we can add the header here in the autorig component, um, or we can use the script and turn on the header and then take this second output. This is important. If I zoom in here, you can see the tooltip. Uh, that's the invoked output. And this one, the second one, is the Apex script graph output. So in this script, we're creating a graph that we can then input as a component script to an auto rig component. So in the next video, we'll uh, produce the functionality that we had in our early example uh, in this script uh, as a component. So for now, I think I can take, turn that off. And this one is going to be using the second input. So we have our rig going into an auto rig component that's using the second input. And then here uh, in our graph or our Apex script node, 
uh, we're going to write Apex script that will create a graph that we then put into the auto rate component. So we'll see just exactly what we're doing uh, in the next video.